61A, lecture number 32, announcements. There are no new announcements, but I'll go over what's happening in the course. The scheme project is due next Tuesday, but I recommend trying to finish it this week. We'll have a project party on Thursday. We'll have checkpoint two due on Friday, but that's most of the project, so you might as well finish it all. And if you do finish the whole project by Monday, you get an early submission bonus point. If you need help, come to office hours online by clicking here and seeing the schedule or coming to the project party on Thursday evening. Lab 11 is due Thursday, homework 8 is due Friday, homework 9 is posted already, it's due a week from Friday, but why not finish it this Friday and then you'll be done with all the required assignments in this course, except for homework 10. And here's the big surprise, homework 10 is just filling out some surveys. You still get homework credit for it, but you don't have to solve any problems. I'll announce the details later on. All of the content for homework 8 and 9 is already covered. In fact, all of the required content for the entire course is already covered in previous lectures. Today's lecture is full of examples, and I think there's some useful new tips in there, so I do recommend watching all of the videos in this lecture if you want to get prepped for the final exam, but I won't really tell you anything new. If you don't have enough work, you can always participate in the Scheme Recursive Art Contest. That is completely optional. Entries are due Monday of RRR week, which is after the final exam. The final exam is now been replaced by three 50-minute exams on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Not next week, but the week after. It covers all the content through last lecture, and there will be a practice exam with the same format as the final exams a uh, week from Friday. And you'll get three extra credit points if you participate. Since this is the last lecture that's not marked optional, I am aware that this might be the last set of lecture videos that some students ever watch in 61A. So in this playlist, I have included a bunch of examples that I think are helpful in getting you thinking about how to solve problems on the final exam and later in life. And then in the last few videos, I move away from course content and talk a little bit about the implications of building software and some things to keep in mind now that you've learned how to program and you have the ability to make computers do your bidding. So I would appreciate if you watch all the way through. Thank you very much for listening and thanks for following along in the course this semester. We'll have plenty of chances to say goodbye to each other in the next couple of weeks because there's all these exams coming up. But I think for those of you who decide not to follow along with the optional content, this is the last time that I'll try to teach you something new. So hopefully it's something that will stick.